Hey there, signs of Aquarius. This is Kim. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm just now getting this out to you. I was meaning to get it out yesterday, but um, yeah, I'm sorry. So that's why I got up super early this morning to do your readings so that you'll have them for this weekend, the next 48 hours. So thanks guys for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Um, Aquarius, let's get this started. Calling in your spirit guides, angels, higher self, higher power. I'm starting out with the fortune cookies. I always try a few different cards in the beginning and then we go on to your tarot. Stay for all of it. We would love to have you. Whoop. I would love to have you for sure. Positive work outcome. That's good. Most of the more positivity we can let in every situation, that's good. Positive work outcomes, consistent efforts will bring rewards, and a major purchase is worth making. What's a major purchase that you are thinking of buying? Curious. Now I'm curious. Challenges. Take time out from problems, conflicts, or approach softly to avoid making matters worse. Take time out from problems or conflicts or approach softly to avoid making so whatever this challenge is, it's making you angry. Making you it's more susceptible to snap on people. So be just be really mindful of that. Oh goodness, I don't like this, Aquarius. Look at this. Jealousy. Oh. Watch who you trust with your personal secrets and plans spend time outdoors and nature with nature to replenish um jealousy jealousy if there's somebody that um is really envying you oh goodness they can do like a queen of swords uh in the reverse a king of swords in the reverse they can play mind games they can try to get you to make bad decisions um uh, based on their influence, all while playing a role of being your friend. <clears throat> really messed up, but yeah, people, some people do that. I don't like it, but some people do that. So just be careful, watch your back, watch how you handle challenges, handle stuff with dignity and grace, I'm being told, with dignity and grace. All right, now we're gonna go on to the archetype card. Let's get this out for Aquarius. Next, 48 hours. Two energies, please, spirit. One, two. trucks are so loud. I don't think that was a log truck, but gosh, they're so loud. Ooh, the crone. Hmm. This might be you. Oh, and it's associated with the number eight. No, <laughs> I'm so dumb. Uh, 13, 13. <laughs> Oh my God. I'm even going to leave that unedited. I know. Um, the crone here positive work outcome positive work outcome consistent efforts will bring rewards and a major purchase is worth making a major purchase is worth making so something is going to bring your pentacles to you just because that's really what i thought when i saw this i thought of the number eight um I feel like I, I looked at that pentacle too and i'm feeling like I, i'm getting finances from that also there's a little bit of royalty around this pentacle telling me that some of you all may have come into some inheritance money or there's just some kind of glow that, that makes me feel like ancestors like have given you gifts because something something will make you money that's passed down. Um, the crone is, wow, it's, it's definitely wisdom here. It represents usually an older woman um, it's it's an older woman who's very well versed at life and understanding philosophical concepts, especially things like um, 
uh, non-dualism, right? I mean, she can understand some pretty complex things, so she can help. This could be a mentor. It could be an older woman that you look up to. This can be you. This is usually also referring to a witch or Wiccan. People make stuff happen. And they can make this happen, too. They might have put, or you might have put a spell on somebody. Somebody might have put a spell on you. You may be feeling extremely lusty over something. Just remember, it's, it's you know, it's a precursor to actually loving and, and supporting somebody after this part. But this stage right here is just... You know, it's just for your pleasure. Uh, really, it's mainly focused on that. Um, I don't know. We will go more on that because I'm going to get different cards so I can see. I think I'm going to get, yeah, I'm going to get these cards so I can see if, if that's coming out, like why that's coming out. So these are the cards sometimes I use for relationships. Um and awakening stuff. So it's the Epiphany deck and it's mixed with sacred signs and symbols. The Crone Eero. Magic. Magic. Somebody using magic. Magic. <laughs> okay, Aquarius, you must deal with this. This is your temptation. It's also your decision. So what's the decision going to be? Because you are being tempted. Guidance is coming. Divine guidance is coming for you. To help you maybe feel like you've lost the way a little bit here. Um, crystal pendant. This might be talking to somebody specifically that has one of these crystal pendants. Or the need to maybe be around the amethyst Um you know, for the positivity and for um, channeling and things like that. It says divine guidance, spiritual answers, and using your intuition. Mop. Sloppy mess, a spill, or a cleanup. Hearts that speak the same language. Hearts that speak the same language. Right, let's put, let me put these... Hearts to speak the same language. Yeah. Temptation. That is temptation. That is temptation. That it reminds me of the sirens, you know, the sirens energy being um there luring sailors to their death. <laughs> It says, deliver me from temptation. This might be a temptation for addictions too. It can it can just represent a very heavy desire. There's something about surrendering, uh, letting go of the desire part. Kind of, it's not easy to do. <laughs> back to the good old times. Back to the good old times. Remembering things, trying to clean up something that happened, but still remembering the old times. A very emotional event is happening right now. Water, emotions, feelings, replenish. You might have eagle vision, like eagle eyes. You have the power. Maybe you're even looked at as a predator. Or this is somebody stalking you. I mean, it can be both, right? But I feel like this is you and this is your liberation. This is your freedom. Just watch out, everybody else, because Aquarius gets what they want. No more. Oh, this could represent authority too. And the reason I say that is because I'm associating it with the with like a flash I had in my head of a, a flag. Um, it says no more bad decisions. Yeah, see that too. That too. that too. Oh, the wheel. This is their wheel of fate, chance, destiny, or fortune. I think once you decide. That you're no longer going to repeat patterns. Therefore, you're not going to do the same thing over and over again. No more bad decisions. This wheel comes in and shows you, yeah, you can be at the top. Karma can turn around. You don't always, you know, you have paid off a lot of your dues here. It's time for you to have the spin. This could be passion and desire still alive for possibly somebody you've already met. Maybe this is just the passion part. But no more bad decisions. No more like going back and then, ooh, 
wow, okay, this is definitely romance for somebody, and I'm, I'm not usually doing romance. I might here, I might not focus on it, but I might definitely read into this. This is the moon energy, hidden desires, hidden intentions. Hmm. But somebody's like put it, put some magic workings into into effect for the hidden desires and hidden intentions. And there's another person that feels susceptible to it. You mean you have to be susceptible to what's being dished out at you for any kind of thing to work like magic or whatever. You know, it's not really it is magic, but it's not really magic. It's just how, it's the magical way the universe works with all that stuff. So the wheel is turning for you. This is the challenge, though. And watch out, because somebody else, you may be, be very jealous of somebody else that might be trying to interfere or be a temptation in your relationship. You might have some jealousy from other people because of what you do have. Just be careful of that, too. Be careful of people you think are friends. Hmm. But still remembering good memories. You're not really taking any bad things. It just feels like something you're dealing with is dead. Like this flower. But it's there's hidden desires. So there's like there's a new flower somewhere. After all that dead one like gets away. Okay, the issue here. What is the issue? High Priestess in reverse, so you need to listen to your intuition. You're not listening to your intuition when it's in reverse. Um, maybe the secret's out the bag of what these hidden desires, hidden intentions are about. High Priestess, the crone, uh, same energy. The challenge is getting out of the energy of a constant conflict or being conflicted in your head about what do I do. That's what I feel. The root. At the root of this. The Knight of Wands. This might be a consistent person in and out of your life. It might be a consistent figure for the rest of your life. It may be you, and I think it's this. I think it's you going ahead forward towards something you want with very fiery, passionate energy. So you're going fast. You're going fast. It's about movement too. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and of course we have Pisces. Pisces strong in this reading. Okay, this is the past energy. Ten of Cups. So it's not like anything was really bad in the past. It's like, you know, you had good times. I think that's why it says back to the good old times when something was more simple. When something was more simple. Challenges weren't as challenging and something was more sim was yeah, more simple. Present energy. Goodness gracious. I just said I didn't feel that, but I definitely do with this. Regret and loss and sorrow because of the things that you're having to say goodbye to. But these things with this Ten of Cups no longer provide you your Ten of Cups. So that's kind of what you're sad about is like, I'm sad that you don't make me that happy anymore. I'm sad about what I did for you. This is temptation because of how bad I'm feeling about my situation and for myself. So try to get out of that energy because that's just pity. And clinging to the past. And you know in your mind that that's what gets you stuck. So don't do that. The six of cups in the reverse. There may be family issues to sort out with though. Since the ten of cups is in the past. And it does represent family. There may be family that is conflicted over this too. Uh, five, five. Big change. Substantial change. That is here with the wheel though. To turn your destiny and fortune around. This could be the energy of a soulmate um, having an issue with a soulmate. Or, I was going to say it could be a soulmate leaving. Hmm. Or it is some of you that aren't aware who your soulmate is yet. Or feeling like you don't have one when you do. Everybody does. How do you feel? I guess not every, I don't know if everybody does it really. I just think everybody would. I don't think you always end up with them though. Okay. 
King of Swords, taking back control over this situation. Maybe it's a family situation. Look, you're taking back control. You are the authority here. You are feeling like the authority. You're feeling like your decision is the one that matters, and it is. Getting your control back. The uh, situation around, you are very clear-headed here, Aquarius. Very clear-headed. Hope and the fear here. The fear is being ignored or rejected. This can also mean rejected. Five of Pentacles is a temporary situation. Five, five, five. So we have huge change, but this is a hope and a fear. So this is not really an energy that's actually here, but the fear in it is, but what about me? What if somebody forgets about me? Or if I, you know, what about me? What do I do? Now it can be a worry, a health concern with somebody. Um, it, it, I feel like I'm even feeling charity, okay? I'm feeling like people maybe in a medical field and, um, oh goodness, okay. Being left out in the cold, some people not being treated. I don't know why I've even gotten that. I don't usually get messages like that. But that's exactly what I'm feeling. Because, I mean, you look at the crutch, but they're out in the snow. No no shoes really on. Well, yeah, I guess they do. One's bandage. And ironically, right near church. Where they need to be inside. If they can. <laughs> So this is a fear. It's a worry. It's not really here. What is here is change for sure. Okay. Let's look at the outcome. Grace, what's the outcome? God, what do we have going on for you, Aquarius? Woo, good. Thank goodness, you know, because this is suspenseful. You get all the way to the end. This is about your victory. You're moving towards your victory. Everything right now is happening for your highest good with the chariot. It's going to help you get out of your head, okay? You feel stuck right now in a family situation you can't get out of. And maybe you're desperately wanting out of this. like, But due to some kind of responsibilities, you're stuck in a position that you don't want to be in. I understand that. So try your best for love, harmony, and balance, okay? It's like... It's like the, the family structure is, is the car here or the chariot and getting it moving all in one piece safely is the goal and that's being achieved here. All right, so let's get, let's get the angel answers. And I'm gonna wrap this up for you. No, ask for help. Ask for help from others. Listen to your intuition. Let go. Listen to your intuition. Let go. No. And then ask for help from others. Yeah, with that five of pentacles, like if it's about health or other people needing help, you might be having to ask for somebody else to get help. That could be cancer too. Uh, this could be travel, okay? Something. There is a solution coming, though, Aquarius. It's right in front of your face. It is coming. Fifteen. Goodness. Three fives. I am wise. Your love for others is powerful. Um, it says you have heartfelt words of wisdom that's meant to benefit others. And then two, two, two. This chariot is saying you need balance. This is saying you need balance. It says two, two, two. Trust that what you're thinking about you know, if you're giving seeds, you're planting seeds, you're thinking about it more than you're giving life for this thing to keep going and to create something that you might not want to create. So make sure you're balanced and keeping your thoughts balanced, positives and negatives. I am a creator. You are one with the creator. And it says you're here to create something really great on your lifetime here on earth. All right. Tea leaves. Shark take care that would be or there will be a loss of material wealth that's a challenge kangaroo unsettled times need to plan ahead goodness rat someone working against you behind your back i always say the bigger your light the bigger the shadow you cast so don't be surprised also watch out for somebody trying to get into your phone um your accounts handshake a meeting with a stranger could be important all right, maybe it's connected to what you desire. It might be a job, too. 
All right, so thanks, Aquarius. Sending you light and love. Bye.